Hello! Uh, first, sorry the quality is a little different than usual. I'm filming this on my computer as I do on rare occasion because my phone is being weird and it's also already uploading like three videos. So, book review. I'm sorry my glasses are glaring. So, let me ask you guys. Glaring glasses or moving them and I'm probably squinting because I can't see. I'm going to go with the latter for now, but let me know what you guys think. So this is a book review for Doing It. Let's Talk About Sex by Hannah Witten. Um, I follow her on YouTube and I really like watching her videos. It's kind of self-explanatory what this book's about, but I did want to mention a couple of things. Um, while this does include biology and science parts of sex, it's more social, cultural, relational. Um, as part of that, she's got a lot of excerpts written by other people that are either experts, have more experience or knowledge in the area than she does. Um, and then she lives in the UK, so some things are really UK-based. Stop rubbing on my computer when I'm filming with it. Sorry, my cat. Such as in the resource section in the back, while it's mostly websites, there are some phone numbers, and they're UK phone numbers. Um... The legal stuff she talks about is UK laws. I know they're different in the US. Some of the vocabulary or spelling is UK vocab or spelling. Um, so my job right now is work, study, tutoring English. I've learned in the past couple of weeks that some of the things that I was telling students um, is correct for British English, but not correct for American English. Because I watch and read that much British stuff, apparently. Um, as a fun fact. And the other bit is that there is a... I don't really want to show it because I don't know who's watching and I don't want to like get kicked off YouTube or anything. But she has diagrams, like when you get to the sciencey part. And in the UK, unlike in the US, kind of opposite of in the US, I guess you could say they don't automatically circumcise babies. So it, that's a social cultural thing that's different and is therefore a little bit different in this book. Um, it's geared for 14 plus, just so you're aware. Um, but I would definitely recommend it. I'm not sure if I've reviewed it on my channel or not, but if you're looking for more of the social biological stuff, or scientific biological stuff, I would look at Lacey Green's book. She's got the cultural social stuff too, but there's more bioscience stuff, and this is more social cultural. So I would recommend both for sure. The Lacey Green one is probably the one that I'm going to give to my girls and say, here, this is your sex ed class. Ask me if you have questions. I will answer all of them. Um, but I would happily let my girls read this, for sure. Um, one of them is going to be 13 in February, and the other one is going to be 2 on Sunday, so. Um, the two-year-old can't read yet, but I would happily let either of them read this at any age. Because I think it's important for them to know things and be able to make good decisions and etc. Um, so that's pretty much it. I gave this four stars. I need to get her other book but because she's in the uk when it came out it hadn't come out in the us yet and it wasn't on us amazon so see if i can track that down if it's out yet have you guys read this any questions comments or opinions i forgot to say um it is non-fiction november so i would count this for true quite obviously um you can maybe count it for design because if you flip through it you can see there's a lot of really cool designs in it I would count it for voice because we need to talk about this stuff more. And I mean, if you really want to go all out, you can count it for sport because it is old usage of the term to say that sex is sport or sporting. Like, instead of saying sex or having sex, you would say they're sporting or sport. You see that left over in, like, um mythologies and stuff where like fairies or fae um it, like the dresden files um 
fairies refer when they say the humans are having sport they're saying humans are having sex so sure count this as sport um but yeah i would recommend uh questions comments opinions let me know down below you know i love discussing things with you guys be nice in the comments or i will delete them uh otherwise don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye